what's up you guys this is a kind of hard video to, to make i just this is my third time rolling it but um this is a tip for anybody that's a spinal cord injury that's t11 t12 or lower or like say you have like good control of your lower abs or say that you sneeze you cough you laugh hard or you do a transfer that you have to like contract your abs a lot and you leak because of that because of any of those things this is for you you don't need to use a catheter anymore i haven't been using a catheter for like over six months seven months and um i just go to the bathroom i sit on the toilet like four or five times a day and if i'm out in public i bring like cleaning solution and i clean the shit out of every bathroom toilet that i sit on like inside and out, i clean the fuck out of this shit. but um so yeah so if you're able to bear down this is p tips i'm just gonna you know prove it to you that this works i'm not gonna show anything i'm not trying to show anything i'm just gonna show the stream that's it real quick you got two seconds all right thank you guys Alright, here we go. Yeah, you can barely see it there. I'm like almost done with my pee. Oh, there it is. Yep. There, now I'm done. Alright, now that also works for pooping too because since you're doing that bearing down, your, your, your intestines and your you know anus and stuff like that is pushing the poop out. So, I poop sometimes too and usually like I'll go put my finger in there to make sure that everything's clean because usually like on the on the daily I, I check the cavity the anus cavity if there's poop on like three times a day instead of like having to do suppositories and a bowel program i just check every three times a day i just stick my finger up there whatever you know i gotta do it i gotta do it um so yeah just empty the bladder milk the milk the penis to clear out any pee in the in the trap and you know make sure your anus cavity is empty and then you're good to go for the next four hours don't have to worry about shit and I'm gonna get in, uh, into more detail about the poop because that's like a whole that applies to everybody. Whereas this like kind of pee thing applies to people with this low, lower level injury that you know you have control of your abs or if you have any of those things like you cough, sneeze, uh, you know, laugh, that and, and you nearly pee when you ever do any of those things. So uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. This is a real quick informative video or something that I do that I think is a good tip for everybody because I know another girl that does this. She uses crutches to walk and she was on a wheels to walking video. And she even talks about it and shows you guys how she does it, but not so intricate like I did. But um, it's really important not to press hard, you guys. Like, I press at the maximum 60% at the very end. Like, because down the long run, that's not good. Even the way I'm doing it, I know it's not good for my bowels and my, you know, my insides. That, you know, that bearing down is not good. But if you don't, if you don't do it extremely hard, it should be good. It should be good for a good amount of time. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you again for checking this out. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Stay safe.